Charles versus um, Karen Boyd. So for those of you who don't know Charles, actually the brother of Quid, the number one player oh, in Westchester okay, right, right now. So he has like top tier training. <laughs> oh yeah, and he is an absolute beast himself. He's been on uh, the Westchester PR, I think, the last season. Um, and he's leveled up even more since then. And, you know, he used to play a lot of Rob, but we've been seeing this snake more and more often. And for this matchup specifically, I can definitely see why we're seeing the snake instead of a Rob. Yeah, no, for sure. But, you know, uh, one thing Karen Boyd needs to do at this point is just, just make it so that Charles does not have any space. If you give Snake space, you're playing his game. And that's something that we, we, we don't do that out here. We just don't. Don't let your opponent play the game, man. It's how you lose. Uh, you see, you, the, the goal is to hit them and then kill them. Yeah, I will say that if you notice Charles' particular style of snake, yes, he does pull grenades, but then he lives to close the distance. You see him shielding at this very particular range away from Mario, just waiting for him to make a mistake so he can go for a dash attack or something like that. Yeah, I mean, with the, with, the, with, the power, with the kill power that Snake has, you, you know, why, why not? I mean, what? All, all, at, at this point, just a few more percent and Mario's in kill range. Oh, that being said, Charles is the one who's definitely at kill range right now. And Mario up smash, always a threat. He has to be careful when it, if he's ever going to take into the air. You see pulling grenades, putting them down, creating a little bit of a minefield. Now, you know, it seems that Karen Void giving him the space that perhaps maybe he shouldn't be because right there, another one of those openings. And oh, wow. Oh, 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 oh. He wants it, man. He's hungry. Oh, with the trade. But, you know, Charles. Snake being more, much more powerful than Mario does come out on top. 155%. At this point, just tack on damage. And Snake is pretty heavy. You know, he can definitely still live a few, a few hits, except that up smash, the bane of my existence. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, but the thing is, like, back air, one of Mario's best, you know, kill ah. moves, uh, that's not killing quite yet, I don't think. And, oh, a single that mistake. Depending on where he's at. <laughs> Did you see how much damage he took from down air to dash attack? That was it. And this is, this is what I like to see. Charles is using Snake's, Snake's ability to just annoy you, right? Look at that. He's, he knows that he has a stock lead, so Karen Boyd is just, is just playing into his game. He's constantly approaching. Oh! That was sexy! Okay. Okay, Re I like that. <laughs> yeah, reflect. That's something we didn't see him do at all. I will say, though, that's like, I feel like that's a trump card, you know? That's something that you yeah, don't yeah, show right. for the entire game and at the end when you need it most. It. Yeah. Like, I, it's, it's, that kills so early, reflecting the uh, the mortar. I forget which one it is. Up smash. And reflecting the up smash kill, kill Snake really early. So, it, yes, he got the kill, which was super important, but he's probably, Charles isn't going to fall for that later on when he might need to kill him at, like, 70 or so. See, right there, he used the reflect. Ooh! But unfortunately, he used the reflective cape again. So now Charles knows that that's it. That's it. He's not afraid to do that, right? Okay, good, good pressure. Nice now to shield. And now he's chasing. Now Charles is playing that, playing that aggressive game. But I want to see Karen Boyd, you know, grab it. Get, get those Mario combos, you know? Get those down throw to up air, up air, yeah. up air to imagination. Here's the thing is that every single moment, Charles has a grenade in hand. Like every single moment Does that Snake he can. ever not have a grenade. Well, no, the thing is, he's making really careful. <laughs> oh! To <open> the grenade. <laughs> that, <laughs> that was scary. Oh, speaking of scary, I would not call him out of the woods here at all. Is that down here? He falls out of it into the up tilt. So uh, that's. Yep. Charles bringing the paint. One, the, one of the things that. One of the worst things you can make your opponent go through is just sheer condition and just putting the fear in their hearts and in their minds. When when Charles just stood there, he knew. At that point, he knew he was in total control of the match. At that point, Karen Boyd was like, <laughs> <laughs> now, well, Where is this going to go now? So that ended up being a two-stop, a pretty brutal two-stop. Yeah. But remember how that game started. Mm -hmm. We had... Charles really down. He was at 155 and then got that really good trade and then he was in the lead. So, Karen Void, this is not the sort of thing where he's being outclassed or anything like that. If he's able to do the consistent damage that he had been, but instead finding the kills, you know, because then he, it, as soon as you're playing against Snake when he has a shock lead, I actually really like this decision. I do. Considering the fact he was not killing before, that, oh, that alleviates that problem. It does. But it's, it's a trade-off, right? Because you have a lot more kill power, but you're also a character that's like... Oh, you, you just go down a tier, you know? <laughs> okay, you do. But on the other hand, you notice that, for the most part, Charles was not 
really hanging back and camping. He was doing a lot of what you're seeing right now. He pulls a grenade and then shields at that particular range. And Dr. Mario, first of all, I think the pills are kind of a better projectile than the fireballs, especially in this matchup. And between that and... I don't know, he wasn't getting big Mario combos, so it's, so instead, just go for like the one-two with Doc. Yeah, actually, you know, that that is actually a very, very good point. He wasn't he wasn't executing the the <laughs> yo, 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 yo. Yeah. You know, yeah, the, the good old Mario combo. So I do I do understand that logic, and I actually like that. This decision makes a lot more sense when you put it that way. Okay. And I mean, I think it's it's hard to say whether it's working out for him because we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Because yeah. yeah. he's doing he's not as in much of a percent lead as before. Ooh, I was gonna say, but he might be able to get a kill earlier. But that C4 taking the stock is so big for Charles. Once again, Caron Void is having to play from behind. But being Doc, he might have more kill power potential. Let's he's not he letting him land right now. Oh, that was such a smart. Oh. Okay, he's bringing him back to the brawl days. <laughs> Karen Void trying to close the distance, but Charles throwing everything in his arsenal to not do it. He is content. He is like, you know what? Okay, you want to play this game? I'm Whoa! Okay. That's he survived. I cannot believe he managed to not die from that upbeat. But he definitely can't take another one of those down tilt combos. Look at this, trapped at the corner, built right. up back air. That's something Mario Fireball, you don't really see Mario combo off a of fireball that often like that. Ooh. 60% though, it's not it's not oh, no. it's not that bad. Karen Boy just needs to find his find his footing right now. It Charles is, isn't giving his Okay, it isn't that bad, but one of the problems with Doc is the recovery. And you notice that Charles right now, never mind, he's just blown off with C4 from the middle of the stage. Charles knows exactly where he wants to put his mind. His mind? <laughs> <Your quarrel. laughs> and he he's just for conditioning Void to to just walk into it. Or like at least like jump into them while he's trying to close that space. Charles is playing this very, very smart. Yeah, yeah. Oh and my god. And it's also worth thinking about the fact that both stocks so far were C4 stocks, and they were kind of, he's just not keeping track of where they are. That was a super risky grab, considering the fact that the C4 was right underneath them. Okay, that, if that had a grab had connected, it could have been some, a source of some really good damage. But as it stands, Caron Void at 109%, being knocked all the way off stage, and there's no way to escape that Nikita. That's going to be a 2-0 victory for Charles. Charles coming up with some clutch. He, he, ju he just looked very confident that entire match.